What up, guys? Luke from the Suns. Okay, welcome to lesson two of European Longsword, presented by Suns University and Sons of Obi Wan. Here we are. Okay, now that you're here for the second lesson, I'm presuming you're hooked. So we're going to have to start putting a few stretches in to loosen everything up. Okay, first one: feet shoulder width apart, just big arms, fists. Now don't be eager tight, nice and loose. Okay, up. Round and down, do that 10 times. Okay, so last week we did full strikes. Okay, the full strikes is if you wanted to actually kill someone, that is the traditional martial way. Stop, other way. That you would kill someone. Okay, now as I said last lesson, rules one through four are don't hit anybody. All right, so what we're going to be doing this lesson is called the points, it's the theatre combat system. Okay, arm out in front. Other arm comes in behind the elbow, twist, and this arm pulls that arm backwards. Okay, you should be feeling this up in your shoulders. Okay, so the points, other side. What we're going to be doing with the points is teaching you how to project the force of a strike away from your partner, so that if they miss a block, it's going to go past them rather than hit them. Okay? so. Nice and loose, wrists, arm flat, grab around with your thumb and pointer around your wrist, elbow down, relax, gently push down, okay, this should be feeling it up here in your wrist. Other side, excellent, all right, so <coughs> hopefully you guys all practiced after your first lesson. So we're going to revise and go through our full strikes. Do it five times. Right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand topped, left hand bottom, knuckles facing forward. Relax. Right shoulder, one. Helicopter, two. Turn it over, three. Cross and drop, four. Helicopter, elbow height, five. Turn it over, six. Up, down, naughty bits. Up, seven, finish nice and flat. Turn, eight. Step back with the right foot, cross the arms, bring it into the body. Keep it pointing straight forward. Step, straight forward. Stab. Don't forget your hips. Ready, plow guard. One, helicopter. Two, don't forget your hips. Turn it over. Three, cross and drop. Four, helicopter. Five, turn it over. Six, up, down, up, seven, turn, Eight, back, nine. Don't forget to say the litany with me, okay? Plow guard. And one, helicopter. Two, turn it over. Three, cross and drop. Four, helicopter. Five, turn it over. Six, up down, up, seven, turn, eight, back, nine, one, two, three, okay, Okay, two more to go. Now, when we do it this time, I want you to think really relaxed, right? Let the weapon do the work. Your arms bring it up, weapon falls. One, relax, let the weapon do the work. Two, 
Turn it over into one move. Three, keep the move going. Four, helicopter. Five, turn it over. Six, up, down, up. Seven, turn. Eight, back. Nine. Now, this time, just relax. Get it all in a flow. Don't think, just do. Trust your muscle memory, okay? If you've practiced, you've started developing a muscle memory. You don't need to think about it. The, the trick is, once your muscle memory happens, it's learning to relax, just, just let it go and do its jam. <clears throat> Ready, relaxed. One, helicopter, turn it over, cross and drop, helicopter, turn it over, up, down, up, down, back, bam. Excellent. All right. Today's lessons, the points. Now, this is actually quite easy to learn, okay? A lot easier than the last one. But you really need to practice this until you get it. So this lesson may only end up being, I don't know, my guess, 15, 20 minutes, okay? But this once you've learned this technique, you've just got to practice it, okay? Now, if you're practicing full strikes or what you're learning today points, a really good way to do it is to actually do it in a mirror and chop yourself up. So while I'm filming, I've got a mirror in front of me. And so if you watch, you don't have your one-handed license, don't mind me, right? The tip of my sabre goes shoulder to hip, helicopter, shoulder, hip, turn it over, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, ribs, ribs, centre, boom, centre. So, doing this technique, there's something else I will show you that I'm making to show you guys a bit later, it's called a strike board. We've had them on the wall of the temple for years. They've gone through a lot of iterations, but I'm just about to get proper, really cool, sexy looking ones. And I'll show you how to use one of those and hopefully we'll eventually have them for sale so you can put them up on the wall at home. Okay, <clears throat> the points. Okay, so this is a system that was used on set to protect the actors, okay? This is... <clears throat> The idea of this is to make it as safe as possible because people tend to think if you want to stop a strike, you bring it up and come down and try and stop it with the arms. But the problem is, if you keep stopping, even momentum and everything's different every time and eventually you're going to hit, okay? So the points is all about projecting the force away from the person, okay? I presume most of you have cast a fishing rod, okay? This is exactly the same method of casting a fishing rod. So, right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom. Now, what I'm teaching you is exactly the same thing I taught you last week, but we're just pointing the force in a different direction. Last week I taught you to cut through, okay? Now, this week, I'm gonna teach you to point, okay? So, bring it over your right shoulder. Imagine you're casting a fishing rod and point it out, straight arms, shoulder height. Now, same as a one to two yesterday, or last lesson, helicopter. Point at the other shoulder. Come up, down, knee. Follow me, round the world to the left, knee. Hip, elbow. Helicopter, elbow, up, down, up, point at the ground, over the top, point over the head, cool? Now, last week I talked about litanies, that's it, it's fairly simple, right? But it's actually deceptively not because you're going to be fighting against the muscle memory from last week. So remember we talked about litanies, okay? Everything we do here has a litany, it's something you can say to drill it into your head, okay? So this one, right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom. So we're going shoulder, shoulder, 
knee, knee, elbow, elbow, naughty bits, head, yeah? Now, it's the same pattern as last week, but instead of going up to the hip, we're coming down to the knee. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee, elbows, elbows, naughty bits, head. Or, right side high, left side high. Right, left, right, left, low, high, center. We'll get to that in a minute. Or, high, high, low, low, middle, middle, center, center, center. Some people think in different ways and one of those word patterns will work. So I'll rotate through the word patterns as we practice it and you find the one that sticks best in your head. Okay, points. A starting position because it is attacking is plow guard. Right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom. Okay? And point to the shoulder. Helicopter, point to the shoulder. Up, down, knee. Now, this hand stays in the middle, top hand turns it round. Knee. So we'll do that again. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. Ready? Point shoulder. Point shoulder. Up, down, knee. Round the world, knee. Now, the secret to stopping. Okay, I'm going to do it this way so you can see the inside of my arm. So look at the left screen, right? When I do my point, my knuckles are still forward, and then this backhand, I'll turn it over this way, comes in and hits the other arm, and that's what stops it. Boop. So if you go there, I can't go any further. Boop. So that's what you want to do, okay? Right foot forward, left foot back, right hand top, left hand bottom, points. Shoulder, say it with me. Shoulder, knee, knee. Plow guard. Shoulder, shoulder. Knee, round the world, knee. We're pointing. Ready. Point shoulder, point shoulder, point knee. Round the world, point knee. Or another way to think. Right, left. Right, left. So imagine that when it hits the sabre, it bounces. Boing, 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 boing. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. High, high, low, low. Right, left, right, left. First four strikes. On the side. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee. All right. Next four. <coughs> right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom, knuckles. Okay. Shoulder, shoulder. Knee, knee. Round the world, knee. Now, point straight up to the roof, bring it back to your hip. Then we're going to go out flat, point. Okay, so we'll do that again. So we go high, high, low, low. Hip. Now, if you see here, from the side view on the right, see how flat it is? goes out that way. So, ready? Right foot forward, left foot back, plow guard. Knuckles. High, high. Low, round the world, low. Hip, elbow. Now, keep this hand here. This hand turns it around in a helicopter. Elbow. Now, it's the same as your seven last week, but instead of coming up, you hit the back 
Backhand, which is now your front hand, hits the back arm. Over the top head. Shoulder, shoulder. Knee, knee. Elbows, elbows. Naughty bits. Head. <coughs> Three times. Relax. Right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom. Knuckles. Plow guard. Shoulder. Helicopter. Shoulder. Knee. Round the world. Knee. Hip. Elbow. Helicopter. Elbow. Up, down, out. Naughty bits. Over the top. Head. Excellent. Plow guard. Shoulder. Shoulder. Knee. Knee. Hip. Elbow. Elbow. Naughty bits. Head. Now make sure that you're always pointing straight armed and you're pointing out. So if you look, here is my body, right? Now normally I would be standing like this, right foot forward, left foot back, but I'm standing this way to show you. Here is the edge of my body. That's where my shoulder is. So when I do the strike, the point of my sabre is outside my shoulder. Does that make sense? So when you point, I do a little lean just to make sure it goes straight. All right, one more time. Right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom, knuckles, plow guard. Say the words. Shoulder. Shoulder. Knee. Knee. Hip. Elbow. Elbow. Naughty bits. Head. Cool? Okay. So, if you were paying attention, we forgot the stab, right? Now, the stab is the same action, but the angle is different, right? Full strikes. You do an eight. When you step back and bring it in, if you notice, the point of my sabre is pointing straight forward. And when I step forward and stab, boom, it's pointing up a little bit just to show you, straight at the person. For the theatre combat stab, we want to stab across the body, right? So, start from the beginning. Right foot forward, left foot back, right hand top, left hand bottom, knuckles, plow guard. Ready. Shoulder. Shoulder. Knee. Knee. Hip. Elbow. Elbow. Naughty bits. Head. Now, when you step back, if you notice, the sabre is now not facing at the person. It is across my body. So that when I step forward and stab, it goes out to the side. Okay? So everything is pointing away from the person, out into the distance. All right. So this is really simple. I'm going to do it three more times with you. And then it's just practice. Just spend 10 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day for a week. It'll lock that muscle memory and you won't have to think about it ever again. So we'll do it three times with you. I'll wrap up. Then go away and practice. Right foot forward, left foot back. Right hand top, left hand bottom. Shoulder. Shoulder. Knee. Knee, hip, elbow, elbow, naughty bits, head. Step back so it's across the body, stab out to the side. Excellent. Ready, plow guard. Shoulder, shoulder, knee, knee, elbow, elbow, Naughty bits, head, step back, and across. Last time. Guess what? You've done a lot of sucking today, but you've done really well because you made it to the end, right? The way to get rid of that suck is to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Right foot forward, left foot back, right hand top, left hand bottom, knuckles, plow guard. 
Shoulder. Shoulder. Knee. Knee. Hip. Elbow. Elbow. Naughty bits. Head. Back. Stab. Across. All right. Here ended the lesson, guys. So practice, practice, practice. Tell me what you think. Um, if you want to support us, check out the website. I will be having some merch up soon. You never know, it's a bit of a potluck. Just keep an eye on the Facebook page or Instagram for when we're doing merch runs. I'm <coughs> looking at doing some challenge coins and some t-shirts and a few little bits and pieces. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the lesson and you learnt lots. Don't forget you suck, but you suck less than you did and you're going to suck again next time when we learn something new. All right, guys, embrace the suck. Peace out. See you later.